Hi everybody, welcome to a yin yoga session that is all based around the heart today. So very compassionate, very gentle, very kind of yummy yin experience today. Often we think of yin as being quite a strong, intense sort of practice, but today it's going to be quite gentle, quite nourishing. So do make sure you have all the props that you would like, a bolster or large pillow, cushions galore. You'll want to have a rolled up towel or blanket and maybe an extra blanket as well for comfort and warmth. So we will start the practice today in a seated position, beginning with a little meditation and then we will move through the sequence for the next hour. I'm looking forward to seeing you in a moment on the mat. So coming into a comfortable seat where we can Work with feeling the space of the heart sort of opening. And that doesn't mean we have to sit with the chest open and it doesn't all rounding, but just having that sense of the space at the front and the back of the heart feeling kind of spacious. And that can feel spacious in the sense of energetically open rather than physically open. Or maybe just allowing there to be a sense of warmth or coolness or whether it might feel quite comfortable for your body around the heart space. You can close the eyes if you would like to or you can keep them open. It's completely up to you. And we'll land into this position to begin our practice. If we've had a busy day, it can be quite nice to come into a space where we are still, reflective. All the things that we might have done in the day, we just get to let them kind of fall to the ground. We don't have to hold those parts of us anymore as we can just be here in this moment. Now we're going to be working with the heart today, working with a sense of compassion and also ease. So picking postures that are relatively comfortable for your body and have a kindness towards your body or yourself today. So that kindness might not just be comfort, it may be, oh, I need to stretch this out. Or I might find that actually I want to ease my body in slowly a little bit deeper. But ultimately allowing there to be a compassion towards your body and towards your entire being this evening. So however that might manifest for you, it's important that we keep checking in with what do I need right now? What feels compassionate to me? And what might be a nice way to offer that to myself in the poses? So a nice way that we can kind of tap into this feeling of compassion is to arrive at the heart center and imagine joy. You might want to use the mind to imagine a joyful event, a joyful time, a kind experience, a compassionate moment in your life, and then feel it in the heart center you may want to bring touch into this space and maybe use your hands to hold the heart. Cultivating kindness, joy, compassion in its simplified form. Just being within the body. That kind of less is more. A very gentle awareness of kindness a smile that we might have received from a stranger, a hello we might have received by somebody we barely know. Maybe it's a text message or a phone call we've had from somebody we love. How are you from someone? 
simple kindnesses, simple compassions, these are actually really important for us in everyday activities. Can get overlooked. And we can offer these simplicities to ourselves, that compassion of touch and holding, that kindness. It can be so needed. And then we'll slowly just start to breathe into this felt experience of kindness, compassion within our body, around the heart. And if you feel compassion somewhere else in your body, if you might feel it in a different area of your body, that's also okay. Breathing into the spaces that we're experiencing this feeling. We'll take one more breath. And then releasing the hands if they're placed on the body, we're going to take our first yin posture. So the towel or rolled up blanket, we're going to allow this to be rolled up quite tightly for going underneath the head. So this is gonna go nice and tight for the back of the neck or underneath the head. Now I'm gonna use a pillow rather than the bolster for behind the heart so that we gently ease open the body rather than going a little bit too deeply too quickly. And then I'm gonna use my bolster for underneath the knees. So you can use a pillow here, it doesn't have to be a bolster. So you might have to place the props and then place your body according. So the pillow, mine's a square-shaped pillow. If you're working with more of a rectangular one, you might have shifted a little bit higher. It wants to come so that the back of the heart is pushing up so that the chest is lifting up towards the sky. And then we might take this towel or rolled up blanket and prop it into the curvature of the neck. And then the arms can go out where they feel the most comfortable, but let them be beyond the body. So rather than pulled in, can we allow them to spread out? This first position, allow it to be relatively comfortable. Open, but comfortable. So that's why I've chosen a pillow rather than a bolster. But if you are very bendy and you would like to have a bolster here or something bigger or two pillows, then by all means you can. But really have that feeling that actually subtlety can be really powerful. And we'll just nest in for a moment. We'll allow our bodies this space to exist in a comfortable realm. And by offering yourself this feeling of comfort, of being held and supported, what happens? feelings start to ignite from this position. And can we allow the emotions to be felt in the body like they're glowing. And today we're going to observe emotions that feel maybe peaceful, comfortable. They don't have to be ecstatic or overtly engaging, but the soft, 
kindnesses that we can experience within the body when we offer ease and comfort in. Notice where you go mentally. Notice where you might go energetically. And we allow physical comfort to be experienced in the body. Now to come out of this shape, you might want to wiggle fingers and toes. You may want to just slide the towel or blanket from underneath the head. Bring the arms into the ground to lift the body up, coming back onto the sit bones. And we can leave the bolster or pillow that's in between or underneath the knees. We're going to come into a rounded butterfly position. So you can bring the soles of the feet together. And you might just want to drop the head. You may find that you can bring the arms further forward over the shins and drop the head towards either the feet or the bolster. You may want to pack in some pillows here or blocks or things you might have available to actually support the front of the chest. Personally, I like having lots of comfort in the center. This is personal. I like feeling protected and held in the front of the body. You can also wrap a blanket over your body if you know that you get a little bit chilly or you want to have extra bits of support. And as we're in this rounded shape, remember this is going to be a rounding position. So if you do need to hoist your hips up slightly onto a pillow, you can. But just let it be soft. Let it be gentle. We're opening up the back of the heart. And if you have something pressing into the front of the heart, that can feel really nice. Holding the heart. See if the head can just release. There might still be a stretch, but we're offering the body a comfortable place to open up. Sometimes in our yin practices, we like to push the body, and that's okay, going a little bit further towards the edge of our flexibility. But it's also really nice to notice the journey that's a little bit more shallow. And we just dive into the deep end all of the time. We get to really feel the intensity of sensation, but we don't necessarily feel the subtleties. The visualization that came to mind was like jumping into cold water and feeling the cold hit you straight away and then adjusting rather than bringing one toe in, the next toe, the next foot, slowly into the water, it can actually be harder to take our time to be with the subtler sensations and it can still provoke intensity. 
We're taking our time to explore what it feels like in a kinder, softer, more digestible way. Doesn't mean that we won't eventually get into the deep end. But we've felt the entire spectrum of the shape, the body, the energy, before we've dived deeper in to where it might feel a little bit more kind of full on, you know, really hot, really, really intense. <laughs> We have one more minute here to just keep softening. To keep listening. Staying with where it's easy and kind. Then we'll very steadily start to just lift the body out. Taking the time to unwrap from this pose. And you might move the pillow off to the side. And we can roll our bigger pillow or bolster to the top of the mat. And we're gonna come into a lovely supported sphinx position. So, the elbows are going to go over the bolster. And again, we have the heart center kind of pressed into the bolster or the solar plexus if you're a little bit higher up. And opening up the back of the heart. Now, if you would prefer, you can drape the body forward and allow the head to come down to the floor. You may want to bring a pillow or I'm going to use a rolled up towel that's right in front of me underneath the forehead. So we've still got a little bit of a back bend going on, but it's less intense. If you prefer to bring your head into your hands, you can as well. Play with what feels the most comfortable for you. We're here for a good, good few minutes. So allowing there to be a position that actually feels more comfortable is the purpose, rather than I'm gonna suffer through this. So we're finding what feels a bit more easy and yet still create some space in the body. Allowing that compassionate opening. Just keep checking back in with what the emotions are telling you. If at any point you start to feel unsafe, you can always change the pose. And the compassionate thing to do would to be to adjust the body until it felt more secure. 
we do live in a culture that is very like do or die sort of culture you've got to do it until you bleed but actually what would it be like to go do you know what it's okay if this is hard let's change it and make it easier life is hard enough It's not that we'd make these choices with everything, but for now, in this moment, we get to choose what feels a bit softer, a little bit easier, but still gaining benefit. Notice the emotional, energetic response. Now we're going to ease the body steadily out of this shape. As we lift the chest, if we've lowered down, we might gently ease back into a bit of a tabletop position. You might want to come and sit upright if that feels nice. We are going to come back down to the floor, so we can just take a moment to open up the heart, the front of the heart, before we go back into the earth. And we can move our bolster off to the side and we can move our rolled up towel or pillow off to the side. So we're going to come into intense shoulder stretch, which sounds not very nice. I'm saying we're going to do nice subtle poses, but we are going to take the options of what feels good. So remember sometimes that compassionate feeling, that slight pushing can feel really lovely and we're all designed differently. So some of us might need a little bit more than others in terms of where we're tight, where we're tense. And we're opening up across this front section with this pose. So coming down onto the belly and the arms will go out into a wide T. Now this might be plenty for your body, just lying here and you feel a stretch across the front of the chest. If you would like to, pull the right knee out to the right side into a half frog position and you can turn the left cheek down to the floor. And again, that might be enough. You may prefer to cactus into the left arm, which will straight away intensify the stretch into the shoulder. And that again might be enough. If you want to bring a pillow or that towel underneath your head, you can do so. I just feel a little bit of an opening into the shoulder and that feels plenty. If you still want a little bit more, you can actually slide the left knee to join the right into this kind of position where we're almost in a twist, but kind of facing down towards the ground. So if we were to flip this upside down, we would be in a twist. And then just soften in. Wherever we've found our bodies in whatever shape, notice the feeling. 
Have we allowed ourselves to create a bit of comfort somewhere? Are we allowing the ease of this pose to be experienced and explored? What's our emotional response to that? Staying with this for a few minutes. If the intensity starts to increase and it doesn't feel compassionate for your body, know that you can reduce the intensity at any moment or keep gradually sliding in. Remember, the intensity might increase the emotional body and that's also a reason if you need to come out of a position you can. As we start to gently come back, we might extend both legs back behind where they started from, bring the hand that's extended out back in, and just push into the ground and come back up maybe to tabletop, maybe to a seated position, and just notice the difference between one side and the other. We'll come back in slowly to go to the second side. So as we come back in onto the ground, if we're in tabletop or seated, we'll extend the right arm out to the right side and just take a moment. This might be enough. You might think, oh, that's plenty. That feels fine. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> you might want to cactus the arm. You may want to bend the left knee out to the left side, so we're coming into that half frog position. I love this shape. Or if you want to roll onto the right hip and join the right leg towards the left, just to slightly intensify this, you can. And drop in. We're not symmetrical. We don't need to try to be. One side may experience different things from the other. So go easy on your body. Keep listening in. As we're spending the time to dive into some of these poses, what might come up? What may be felt here? doesn't always have to be strong and powerful. It can be soft and gentle. There is still power in softness and gentleness. It's just a very different sort.
body starts to kind of ooze discomfort out and it doesn't serve you today, you can change that. Keep checking back in. And then once again, we'll slowly ease the body out. So you can maybe extend the legs back to where they came from. Hands can come back under the shoulders and gently lift the body back up. Take your time. You might want to stay in tabletop. You may want to sit onto the heels and just again, explore what it feels like from one arm to the next. Now we're coming into a child pose position. So if child pose doesn't work for your body at all, you can come into a fetal position, which is obviously lying on your side. Use as many props as you would like to here. So I highly recommend a bolster, always. And you can bring it in between the legs. The legs don't have to be super wide. They can be kind of tucked in. I also like to bring a pillow in, kind of hugging in and then Depending on whether you're cold or whether you want to have that wrapped up feeling, like a protective thing. So we think of the heart as being this space that needs protecting. It's vulnerable. Wrap yourself up. And I like to go into my little cave, <laughs> my cake cave, and tuck everything in and just come into this little space of protection and if you need to do this in a fetal pose, it's also fine. Hugging everything into the center and try and make sure it's comfortable. So if you need more cushions, more support, grab all that you need in order to allow this pose to feel soothing. Like we've come into this warm, comfortable cave a place where we feel safe, where we can shelter, where we can ease into a little bit of rest, where the heart feels held, safe, so it can release and relax. We don't need to panic. We can just be here for a little bit of time. When we offer ourselves this space to be comfortable, what happens for you? What does your body experience? Remember, if changes need to be made, 
any point in order to make the posture more comfortable, more supported. You can make those changes at any moment, feeding into that compassion for comfort. Notice anything that starts to respond to being in this posture. And are there any changes that need to be made in order to make it a little bit easier, more comfortable? You can always come out early. We don't have to stay in these poses as long as I've designed the class. You can adjust the positions according to what your body is feeling today. So we're going to ease out softly. So if you come into your little burrow, your cave, come out really gently. Maybe taking a moment to sit upright, maybe extending the legs out in front. And we're going to make our way onto our backs and bring maybe the big cushion or the bolster for underneath your knees. Now, if like me, <laughs> you like warmth and comfort for the mat, if you're on a carpet, it's probably okay, but I'm going to bring my blanket behind me just so it's a little bit warmer and softer. And then come to lie down on the back. So the legs are supported here. Now, we're going to cross the right arm over the left, left arm under the right. So we're in this kind of um, open heart behind position, we're hugging the top of the body. So we're giving the, the front of the body a hug and we're feeling the space between the shoulder blades, the back of the heart open up. Now, if you need to also wrap yourself up in the blanket, you can do so, like mummifying yourself. So as you bring the right arm under, the left, over the left, sorry, you can wrap yourself up with the blanket. So we're feeling that warmth. And just soften in here for a few moments without having to force the arms to go into a deep expression of this position. And maybe feel the space behind the heart just flattening into the ground and opening up. And that hugging feeling around the front of the heart, snuggling everything in, kind of that caring, kind sort of wrap around with the arms. You might notice the breath has to deepen here. 
as we're hugging around the top of the body. Maybe you notice the heart beating. Are we able to slow the heartbeat down? Can we feed that kindness, compassion, subtlety of effort into the body? And just noticing what might start to appear No matter how small the experience, something may be shifting. Now it's not essential, but if you do want to swap the cross of the arms, extending one arm out and the other, and then swapping the hug. So the left arm goes over the right. If you're quite happy where you are, just stay there, it's completely okay. If you have swapped arms, just experiencing the change in sensation subtly, it might be, oh, that's a slight difference. Same, same, but different. Still allowing there to be a kindness experienced in the body. and easiness. As we start to unwrap the arms, again, move slow. They might feel quite heavy after being here for a while. So you can pull them down, maybe rest them to the solar plexus, the belly. Let the shoulder blades come back to where they feel a little bit more closed or grounded. And we're going to make our way back up to the sit bones, but we can leave the bolster underneath the knees. So we're going to do a nice forward fold position. For comfort, keep the bolster here. So maybe usually we'd keep the legs straight and we'd round into the posture and go as far as the, the um, hamstrings can, can go. But really here, allow it to be a little bit less intense. Again, you can bring cushions in to allow a little bit more comfort and you can wrap yourself up in this blanket that is still maybe around you if you need that. And we'll just curl in. So the body might stop you from going any further because of hitting limitations and that's absolutely fine. So if you get to a point where you're like, well, I, I can't really go any further than where I'm at, 
and you can tuck in and round. You can reach the arms forward. Find a space where you feel supported, you feel comfortable enough, but then you also notice the expression of sensation. It can sometimes take a little bit of time to get into the space that feels the most comfortable to sit in for a good couple of minutes. And we can always make adjustments as time goes on. But have that feeling of kind of settling in and then sinking in. And that space behind the heart is now opening back up again. towards the sky, this time rather than the earth. We're still protecting the front of the heart as we round inwards. Can you let your head get heavier and heavier? feeling a soft tugging all the way down the back line of your body. And we'll lift the body up again with that control that's slow. Kind of rounding back up, all the way back up to seated. Maybe lengthening through the spine for a moment just to feel that back becoming more extended. Now we're gonna take our final pose before Shavasana how time flies when we're having fun, eh? So my oh, ultimate comfortable pose. <laughs> but then um, I would probably say that. So we're going to need this blanket or rolled up towel. If you need an extra blanket, which I will bring one in, definitely. So the rolled up towel or blanket wants to be folded from the short edge in half so that it's nice and long doesn't have to be quite as long as this blanket. This is quite a long blanket. And then we're going to roll it. We can always actually halve it again. This one's quite soft, this blanket. It's lovely, but it's quite soft. And we're going to roll it tightly into a long kind of coil tube like so, and bring it into the center of your mat. Now, if you do need another blanket, 
or that was your towel and you are using a blanket, just make sure you've got warmth for your body, yeah? So we can sit on one end, towards the end. So you want to make sure that as we lie back, we've got enough space for the head. So the head feels supported as well. Now you can, which I quite like, is rolling up one end and tucking it underneath the neck. It's a little bit big actually for my head. So you can shift up so there's enough space that it feels comfortable into the neck. Then let the legs go out a little bit wider, let the arms go out a bit wider. You don't have to have the coil for the head, you can have it completely flat down onto your towel or blanket. And then if you need that extra warmth or extra comfort, cover your body back up with a blanket. When we start to relax, the body temperature really does drop. So even if you're quite a warm person or it's warm when you're practicing this, you might recognize that there is a sense of coolness coming in. So we want to maintain the heat of the heart. And then just allow your body to kind of let go over the towel. This is again a very subtle feeling. We're supporting the entire spine into its natural shape. And I like to think of this pose as like a very aligning position for the body. For me, it's incredibly comfortable. But if you do need to ground the soles of the feet to the floor, or if you need to make any changes to make it more comfortable, then please do. And can we just let the ease of this position kind of be embodied so that the compassion, the joy, the, the fizzing of that simple pleasure of relaxing the body in this position, that's experienced in this moment. To me, it's the sound of like, Now, hopefully, you don't really want to move. We are going to move really slowly. 
So you might want to bend the knees to ground the feet so that you don't just roll off the blanket. You can roll off to one side and then just remove the blanket from behind you and come back onto the spine. So I'm going to bring a pillow behind the head for my Shavasana just to add extra warmth and comfort and the bolster underneath the knees. So you can have that extra layers of comfort into the resting pose. And then find a position where again you can really soften in and sink in. Let it be easy and really oh, just a nice space for your body. Softening in and closing down any effort at all. And I will let you know when this space is complete. So all you have to do is let your body be here and I will guide you out in a few minutes. So we're going to begin to come out of Shavasana unless you want to stay here for longer. You can. If you'd like to just stay here until your body's ready to exit the pose. Or join me in a little bit of movement, stretching, rotations of the joints, maybe yawning. Oh, big sigh. We can take our time to travel out of Shavasana. Sometimes it's nice to actually just enjoy that moment before you have to sit up, right? <laughs> it's like when you're in bed, you wake up and you're like, oh, I don't have to do anything yet. I just have to wake up. And as you ease your body up to a seated position, Finding a bit of length through the spine. Coming back to that spatial awareness in the heart. So it doesn't mean we have to open up the chest, but that space that may be more open. We'll inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Take a little final stretch as the palms will connect together. And exhale, draw the hands towards the heart. As you gently bow your head forward, thank yourself for being compassionate with yourself today. Namaste.